Right, back on again. Right, I've just come out of that path. Kodak's going to need battery charger now. It not last very long, is it? It's not even done a video. There's the plantation. I, I call it the plantation. It, the trees there were planted in memory of people who served in the Second World War. I don't know if it's... The, I think they might have been killed. There's a girl just past me. Walking quite fast. And people are so fast, you know, compared to me. She's hammering. She might not be hammering at all. Some people just walk fast. They got the left. You know, I've got little lips. She's going down this. She's going where I'm going. Well, she might not. She might go round. There's um, Alfoxen Park, where those trees over there are. And that's where Alfoxen House is in there. But we're not doing it today. We haven't got time. Basically, I'll hardly have time to stay stop at Holford. I'll hardly have time to stay there. Basically, I'm hoping the bench will be free. I'll finish my crisps and my cheese. I forgot to bring cake. I thought I had everything. Don't matter. And then we'll have to head back. I'll probably walk the first part of the Hodder's Coon quite quickly because, like I said, I prefer to leave that bit out and just get straight into the coom. But it doesn't work like that. You still have to go up that long stretch before you actually get near where all the streams are and everything. But, um, yeah, I'm going to have to start. You see, if I do it in the week, I've actually got to pay the full price for the train. It's quite expensive. You're talking, you're going from seven quid to 20. And the only time I can do in an ordinary fare is on a Saturday. But the weather doesn't play that game. You see, the weather could be sunny, brilliant all week and then rain on Sunday, on the Saturday. Or well, the train could be on strike. So there's a plantation. When we get there, I'll put the charger on the back, on the camera. It hasn't lasted very long, the camera. And like I said, I haven't even done. I haven't even done a video on the Kodak and it's finished already. Is it? Mm. So, there we go. It'll take a couple more shots. Will it? Yeah. It'll take a couple more shots. I can probably do one now of that. make a mistake thinking I've got to get in there, don't I? You're still on shelf. So there we go, this is what I come out for, this beautiful place. Absolutely beautiful. And while I'm up here, once I'm in the coom, I don't see this, see? That's the idea of this walk. I usually tried to do old fox and house i like to see how the place is doing i haven't been out there for a year but i will come out i will do it because i want to do a uh, smith's coom so i might possibly do it then there's quite a long walk again and that walk across after you've reached smith's coom it's really long and exposed. 
and it takes you into a Foxton park and um, things like that. So here we are, this is the what they call the plantation. I can imagine people having picnics here, gathering here. I don't know, it's just something about it. Um, and they have a service up here to remember the people that died, who served in the villages around here, not just Holford. Um, and they've planted new trees, but the cows, when the cows are up here, they often eat the saplings. Um, well, here it is, and it sticks out for miles, and I call it the plantation. It's my reference for it. But they have got some trees growing, they've put some wire up to protect them. I'll put some wire up. And over here you've got the stone. Over here you've got the memorial stone. And the children, and well, some people place stones, pebbles. It looks a little bit unhappy, doesn't it? These trees were planted to commemorate the men and women of Holford and Kilve who served in the war, 1939 to 1945. And it's surrounded by beauty here. Is it? Yeah, it's absolutely surrounded by beauty. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful location. When I'm, when I'm on higher hair nap over there on that big hill, on the Carn, where I placed a stone for my family and friends in October, last year, I looked over here and I could see the plantation. Now the day I put that stone on the Carn over there was October the 7th. And unbeknown to me, when I placed the stone on the corn, on that beautiful morning in October, a massacre had taken place in Israel, near the Gaza Strip. And it was the start of a very brutal, horrendous revenge, if you like. But there's lots of theories. It's still going on. There's a lot of... Well, it's just really horrendous. You just look like got to go on the news. But that day when I went there, I chose that day. I, it might have been the sashay. I can't remember. But I didn't know until I got home either. Because I'd been out all day, like I am now. Not, I haven't got the radio on. I knew nothing until I got back. And I thought, wow, I've just been over Crocom, walked all the way to higher hair nap stopped there a little while placed a stone and I looked over at the plantation I remember I looked over at the plantation I'm going to turn off for a little while now folks we're going downhill we're going to join an old drove which is part of old Foxen Park and the house the house will be in there somewhere like I said I can't afford the time today not with me relying on public transport I just can't 
I'm going to be late as it is getting back. Holford to me, the, I need to get to Holford and sit on the bench and have a bit of a picnic. And then, <sighs> make my way up. Because I've only got, I've got to do Hodderscombe, cross over the fords, go up Shepherd's Coombe to Bicknoller Post, then I pick up Bicknoller Coombe down into the village. It's several hours just doing that. And it's probably going on for half past two now. But we've got no choice. What it is now is it's the point of no return. You just well carry on now. See what I mean? Like I said, I'm two hours behind what I would normally be doing. So, anyway, over and out for now. This is Sheila. I think it's the 20th of May, 2024. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous spring day. <laughs> right, we're walking down the drove now, pretty drove. Like I say, old Foxton's over there, down there, just over there, the house. This is part of the parklands. I've put the charger on the Kodak at the moment. I've just taken the odd picture. With a flash, because it is a bit dark. And we're gonna, we've got a little walk down here. And then we'll be in Holford. A short, quick stop there, unfortunately. When, even when I had the van, I used to park the van, go on my walk and all that. But at the end of my day, I would still go over with a drink and sit. And sit on the bench. I'd still sit on that bench. Where I think, I think it might have been 2017 or, or something like that. Or it could have been, it was some time like that. It was before Jude died, I went over there and I'm sure I saw Jude and Stuart. I should have taken a picture, I should have gone up to them. Sat on the bench. They didn't look very happy. I'm just wondering if it was one of those walks I did when she'd only just got the news, maybe 2017 in the summer, because I was always over because I had the van. I just wonder if it was them. We didn't see a lot of each other, so I probably thought it wasn't and just carried on my walk. You know? This is always further than I think, which I don't take into account when I'm trying to time myself. I always forget that this is longer than I anticipated. Now, I, remember when, I remember when that... When it, I remember when that log first... tree first tipped over. A couple of years back now. Yes, further down than you think. Of course, there's, n there's no way I can get home without a train, by the way. I'd be totally stuck in Taunton if uh, there was no train. But like I said, if it comes and I have to wait, I will. It, there's no great panic to get home, to be quite honest. I can cash up on EastEnders later on on BBC iPlayer. Why don't you get over there and walk on a flatter bit, Shill? Yeah, that's why I like EastEnders. I don't know if I've mentioned it before. I do, actually. A little bit of fantasy, a bit of soap. Yeah. Uh.
Like I said, I'll be speeding up my walks once I leave Holford. I will slow up going through the coombe to embrace it and everything. But I will, and I won't be walking fast getting out of the coombe. I've got to walk up in the sun. I'd like to go down Bicknoller Coombe, but it takes longer than if I go straight over the top. So I'll have to say, it's awful having to plan ahead like this. If you were to listen to my videos when I had my own van, say 2017, I, I am so relaxed. I am so relaxed. I don't even mention anything about a bus. Don't you know? Not mentioned at all. Totally relaxed. So I don't like doing my photos, I don't like to miss anything, see? So I'll be passing by that place over there. About an hour or so. This is like an afternoon walk, so I have to class it really. Now you see, what's a pity, I'll tell you what a pity is. There's no bus from Holford. There used to be. There used to be a Holford bus. It wasn't very frequent, but you could always plan your day to get that. I think it was half past three. It was something ridiculous. But there was a bus. And um, I used in the early days. I used to catch it. Nether Stowey, Cannington. Mr. Gersey. Yeah, I used to catch it. So I'm, the reason I'm taking care is I broke my wrist a year and four months ago. And uh, that was just tripping over something. I actually landed on my wrist with my body tucked under me. Yeah, it was quite nasty. Very, very painful. Right, I'm going to swap hands in a minute. Let's get through the gate. Swap hands, y'all. And then we go down here. 